The bear was not about to kiss and tell and growl about his Chicago Bears. Neither was quarterback Bob Avellini, a chunky hunk of rookie meat whose staggered snap count was an invitation for the over-eager Detroit Lions to come to dinner. Avellini proved to be a beggar's banquet to the Lions, who evidently were trying to re-merchandise the old black and blue myths about the NFC Central Division. When Avellini's senses and headgear were restored, the rookie from Maryland attempted to pry apart the stunning gambling Detroit defense with long-range passing. This strategy produced two interceptions, but failed to alter Avellini's style. Sooner or later, he knew the adventurous Lions would be trapped with single coverage on speedy Bo Rather number 80. All year long, the Bears have tried to unleash the splendid talents of number one draft choice Walter Payton, whose Achilles heel is the crucial fumble. Once again, Payton's inopportune turnover seemed to bury the Bears, but Bob Avellini sought a second opinion. The result was a reprieve for Payton and six points for Chicago. Avellini's knack of swallowing the Lions secondary in large gulps can be attributed to perfect protection and Bo Rather's elusive patterns. Down deep, straight ahead power football produced Peyton's second touchdown and a 19-7 lead for the Bears. It was only a matter of time before Lion quarterback Joe Reed found the soft parts in the Bears' flabby zone. Marlon Briscoe, a gypsy receiver, caught two touchdowns. The second covered 59 yards and returned the lead to Detroit 21-19. Frisco turned up lame, and so did the Lions' defense. Their gambling style of play was reflected by linebacker Charlie Weaver, number 59, whose inside blitzes opened up the sidelines for valuable gains by Walter Payton. This Russian roulette style of play cost Detroit the game when Chicago caught them in a full blitz and rookie Roland Harper, number 35, scored the winning touchdown. Roland Harper was Chicago's final draft choice and his only entry in their press guide notes that at Louisiana Tech he was the blocking back for Charles Quick Six McDaniel the man he beat out for a spot on the Bears roster. Such stuff are what fairy tales and victories are made of. Bears 25, Lions 21. 